Hey guys, my name's Jo Beth. I'd like to send a huge thank you to R. Tom for sending me some new toys to play with. For those of you unfamiliar with R. Tom, they make outstanding products, particularly the Moon Gels, the Moon Gel Practice Pad, and the Black Hole Practice System. I love acoustic drums. I'm still new to the world of exploring electronic drums. And I'm going to show you some ways I've been experimenting with drum triggers for the first time. And I know that learning a new electronic instrument might sound daunting at first, but in this video I'm going to help you understand that it's really not that complicated. I'm going to demonstrate with a Yamaha EAD-10, which is a module that came out in 2018. It's kind of like a wah-wah pedal for your drum set, and it has hundreds of samples on it. What you'll need are some quarter-inch cables for each trigger, some headphones, and a quarter-inch headphone adapter. The trigger pack is self-explanatory and it doesn't require much instruction. You can figure it out by looking at the picture. They're durable, lightweight, and easy to travel with. The sensor is made of foam and is actually really sensitive. You might need to adjust the settings on your module to get a clean sound. I'll show you how these sound off of the actual drum set. This is a great way to practice without stressing out your neighbors. All you gotta do is snap it onto the rim and insert the cable. I've experimented with a small 10 inch pad that I'll place on top of my kick pedal practice pad. I've got inputs for each of my triggers in the module and a USB cable to connect to my iPhone camera. On the front is where I insert my headphone jack and it's gonna sound something like this. And now I'm going to play around and remove the pad from the kick pedal. I'll simply place the trigger on the bottom so that it picks up the vibration. I'll play a bunch of samples to give you an idea of what it sounds like. Now I've got the trigger set up on the drum set. You might notice it doesn't sound much different, but it looks way cooler in a live setting. So let's say you've got a rehearsal or a gig. You can easily plug the module to a monitor or PA system, kind of like this one, so that you, the band, and the audience can all hear the trigger samples. I'll play some examples on the snare drum with the snares on and with the snares off so that you can hear what it sounds like. Samples with the ears on. So, as you can imagine, this would make a big difference in a live setting. Here's what the full kit sounds like with cymbals and the snares on. Let's pretend we're in a situation where we want to play a sampled snare and an acoustic snare at the same time. I'll play a groove that incorporates both. So that's pretty much everything you need to know about the new triggers. Super simple, easy to set up, easy to carry. This is definitely something I would use on the gig when the music calls for it. Is this something that's right for you? Uh, sure, if you already have the pads, I'd say it's definitely worth the upgrade. If you don't have a trigger module yet, I'd recommend one by Roland or Yamaha. Those are two top of the line brands that you can't go wrong with. I find myself enhancing creativity and I get new ideas when I have more 
colors and sounds and toys to play with. So this is definitely a good thing to have in your arsenal. I'm gonna end it right there. If you think there's anything I missed, anything you'd like to share with me, I'd love to hear from you. Uh, if you'd like to connect, my Instagram is Joe Beth Drums.